and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to show you how to make my delicious cheesy no cheese homemade baked beans. So today I wanted to show you how to make my cheesy no cheese homemade baked beans. Now this recipe is really simple to do. So I love cheese but I don't think cheese loves me. So I fancied some cheesy beans one day, like a jacket potato with cheesy beans, but unfortunately, as I don't really eat cheese a lot, I didn't want to have a lot of cheese with some homemade baked beans. So instead, I decided to combine my homemade baked beans recipe with my cashew nut cream cheese recipe, and it worked really well. Um, my husband didn't even notice that there wasn't any cheese in it. He actually thought they were cheesy homemade baked beans. He was quite surprised how cheesy they tasted so that's how good they are and this recipe is really versatile as well so tonight we're going to be having this with sausage mash and beans cheesy beans but you could have it with a jacket potato you could also have it with breakfast it's great on toast as well so as I said it's really versatile and it's such a great one to keep in the freezer as well all of the ingredients in this dish are freezable so you could make these up in a big batch and put them in the freezer as I said as well we're going to be having these for our dinner tonight so I thought I'd show the recipe to you today. Right, so the first thing I've done is I've put a large saucepan on a high heat on the hob and I'm just going to let this heat up and then I'm going to add a teaspoon or two of olive oil to the base of the pan and then I'm just going to spread that around as evenly as I can with my plastic brush so everything is nicely nice and evenly coated in the base of the pan and then I'm just going to leave this to heat up now so the base of the pan is getting nice and hot now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one onion that's been sliced and diced so I've removed the skin from the outside and I've sliced and diced it and I'm just going to fry this until it becomes see-through or translucent do it whichever word you want to use. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to fry this now until it starts to soften and become see-through. So my onions have started to soften and as you can see here, they've started to become see-through. So clear, translucent, any word you like to use as I said. And then I have one carrot that I've peeled and sliced and diced very thinly and then I have one stick of celery as well that I've peeled and sliced very thinly as well so I'm going to pop those into my pan now and I'm going to continue to fry these and let the carrot and the celery soften now so the reason I've sliced everything very thinly is simply because after I've added the tomatoes and let this simmer for a while I'm going to put it into the blender or, the, or my Nutribullet cup and I'm going to blend it with the cream cheese that I've already made and um, yeah so it needs to be quite thin so it blends a bit easier really so if you can slice and dice it very thinly the carrot and the celery and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the tin tomatoes as well if I can get them out of the tin there we go and I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit uh, probably to like a seven. Right. And then I'm just going to add the second tin of tomatoes. So this recipe serves four people, but as I said, you could make extra and um, freeze them as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of water to the tomato can just to get the juice off the side and also just to add a bit of water to the tomatoes as well. So just a little bit of water and swirl it round and then hopefully there's not much left in there. As you can see, the juice is all gone from there. And then I'm just gonna leave these on the hob to simmer now. But before I go, I'm going to add a little bit of salt to this and a little bit of pepper as well. So. 
Salt and pepper to your taste. I do like a big pinch of salt. It does bring out the flavour of the tomatoes. And then a little bit of pepper as well. And now I'm going to turn the heat down to a low heat and I'm going to leave these to simmer for a good 30 minutes or so I'd say. So I've removed the beans from the heat and I left them to cool. They were on there for a good half an hour. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a big teaspoon of smoked paprika to that. And then I'm also going to add my cashew nut cream cheese as well. So I made this earlier while the beans were cooking and I will link the recipe in the description box below for you. I think I've done a video here on it on my channel as well. So I'll link that down there as well so you can see that down there. But yeah, I just made this earlier because it just makes it easier if you make it while you're um, cooking the beans. So I'm going to scrape as much as I can of this cream cheese into my bean mixture. And I'm going to stir these two around now. And once this is all well mixed in, I'm going to blend all of these ingredients together. So everything is well mixed together now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put this mixture into my, food, into my Nutribullet cup. If you have a blender, then please use a blender. Or if you want to use a stick blender, then you can with this recipe as well. So I'm going to try and put as much as I can in here without overfilling it. And then, hang on a minute. I'm going to put the lid on and blend these together now. So once the mixture is smooth like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into a separate jug or cup and then I'm going to continue to blend the rest of these ingredients together now. So I'm just going to put everything back into my Nutribullet cup and repeat the process now. Um, and as I said, I have the homemade baked bean recipe on my blog. Um, and I will link my blog in the description box below for you. So if you like this recipe and you want more recipes like this one, then I have loads like this. I have lots of desserts, I have vegan recipes, I have vegetarian recipes, I have meat eater recipes as well. So there's something on there for everyone, I think. There's actually over 650 recipes on my blog now, so I'm really proud of that. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, then please go check it out. And I'm going to just put the lid on now. And again, I'm just going to repeat the process and blend all of these together. So I've made the sauce and no homemade baked beans would be complete without the actual baked beans. So now I'm going to add two tins of haricot beans that I've drained in a sieve in the sink. And then I just wash them through a little bit with a bit of cold water. And I'm just going to add these and I'm going to stir these in now. And then this evening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat these up and I'm either going to serve these with mash and sausages or I'm going to serve these with chips. I'm actually going to be having vegan sausage with these. So this is actually our vegan meal for me, but my husband and son are going to be having uh, pork sausages. Pork and apple, I think they are. So yes, that is my homemade baked beans done. So that's how you make my cheesy, no cheese homemade baked beans. And this recipe, I will link in the description box below for you. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.